pouring a dragon flower today. I uh, realized my video wasn't on before I started pouring. I've already did the deep violet from Liquitex uh, doing a puddle pour. Now I'm pouring the magenta from Dr. P.H. Martin's Liquitex and I'm just going around again uh, to get the, the violet around the edge because I'm trying to center up the, the magenta um, in the middle, this recipe is actually from Ruth Ann. I'm not sure if it's, I think it's Deline. Uh, she generously shared this with me and I actually got a really cool effect out of it. So I wanted to share with you guys. And now I'm pouring um, Bora Bora from Dr. P.H. Martin, uh, just kind of going around um, the outer edge of the pink that I poured. And interestingly enough, I'm using um, Pouring Your Heart Out's Cascade Mold. Um, and you'll see here, I did pour a dragon flower, uh, but actually it turned out being a fairy flower. Um, and this mold is always just kind of mystical to me because it always <laughs> pours like, or the final result is the opposite of what I pour. If I pour a dragon flower, I get fairy. If I pour a fairy flower, I get dragon. So I, I don't know why, but um, it's happened to me on several occasions. Um, so I just kind of have to laugh and just roll with it. Here I'm mixing up the white. Um, that's actually, um, I'm not sure if I showed it to you guys. It's probably going to be a little bit more opaque. I did use Cast and Craft on this one um, as uh, actually, that's what Ruth Ann used, so I just wanted to uh, follow the recipe she gave me to a T. Obviously, she gave it, so I'm not um, privy to sharing that with you guys, but it's um, just uh, the difference between hers and mine is very interesting. I realized we didn't always use the, the same products. However, we did use the same resin. Um, as far as I know, she used um, Art Pro by Resin Pro. I used the same thing, um, just trying to get a replication of hers, but this ended up um, <laughs> obviously doing its own thing, which is fine. I mean, resin is always kind of like that. It's got a mind of its own. Um, but nonetheless, still got a really cool effect, I think, um, on this. I'm going to say it's a fairy flower, uh, dragon flower pour, because as you can see here, I'm definitely pouring this as a dragon flower. And I'm just kind of going in the middle. Uh, I don't put a lot of white in the center, but um, you can see the little magenta area there that I left open. Um, I did use the octopus fluids in Oki. Um, in my clear push that I did um, change from Ruth Ann's recipe only because I like to use the Enoki for my clear push and uh, here I go gonna dump it and I had an accident my stick landed in there thank god it didn't like impact the final result but um, yeah I had a little bit of a boo-boo there and you can see it closing up Uh, let's just show you guys like the final result here. It actually moves pretty fast. Um, after the, the, the clear push, it moves pretty fast to come back together. I honestly really like how this came out. The colors are just, I don't know, just so pretty. I just seriously love it. Um, obviously not going to sell this piece. I will keep it because I really love it. Um, I'm actually starting to get quite a collection of of things that I've made that I like to keep because I'm like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to. Okay, so now I'm just letting you guys um, see this, this close up. I'm actually at a work conference and I'm trying to uh, do my video really quick and be between some stuff. So there might be a little bit of lag in um, my directions and I realize I'm saying um a lot today, but... <laughs> All this travel has just got me so exhausted. But I wanted to show you guys this. Uh, huh. And here it is.
This is the next day. This is the actual unmolding day. Uh, it looks pretty good on the back side. Just popping it out of the mold here. I'm sure you can hear the little crinkle crunch. And did it work? Of course it worked. We know it worked, but look at that. I seriously like, I can't even believe how pretty this is. I love this piece. Thanks so much for watching. Take care of yourselves. Um, and hopefully uh, you can pour this as well. And I wish you all the best results.